guys, it's Walter Nerd Gaming here, and yeah, we're gonna jump in and do a really quick update for you for you guys on Anthem. Uh, there's been some exciting news that's come out the last couple days, um, including an epic new launch trailer that we want to take a look at for you guys. Uh, there's been a new release schedule, or sorry, not new release schedule, but I still see people asking all the time on Discord groups, Facebook groups, and subreddits as to when they can play this game, depending on what level of access they have. So we're going to go over that for you guys really quickly. As well, there's a couple other things I just want to go over with you guys. Uh, they updated what we're going to get after release in the upcoming months, and I just wanted to show that to you guys as well. So yeah, we're going to do a really quick update for you guys. Um, super excited to play this game. Uh, definitely stay tuned to the channel. Bioware has a history of releasing games with absolutely epic stories, and I'm sure this one's going to be absolutely no different. So, starting February 22nd with the release of the game, we're going to be doing a full playthrough of the game's story, and that's going to be uploaded on the channel here. And I can't wait to see you guys there, and hope you guys enjoy the story as well. So. Anyways, without any further ado, we are going to minimize this gameplay footage from my VIP demo weekend and we're going to tab over and we're going to check out this Anthem launch trailer here. Um, I've watched it once, I can't wait to see it again, um, get a little bit better look at it and share my thoughts with it, sorry, share my thoughts on it with you guys. So without any further ado, let's take a look here. I really hope we do get to see all four of our javelins at once on the screen like this in the full game. It really looks cool. A oh, really Iron Man vibe right there, but just how badass does that Ranger gameplay look? The detail on these characters is insane. Colossus and that big gun. Nothing wrong with explosions, am I right? I absolutely love explosions. Oh, the Interceptor just looks so cool. I didn't really get a chance to play it during the demo weekends, but I'm really just getting an almost an Assassin's Creed look from that, hey? And then, of course, he got my absolute favorite, the Storm. Hype for the Storm, guys. I played it all through the public demo, the Storm, and I loved every minute of it. Wow. What an epic trailer. You know, honestly, even if I didn't know anything about the game and I saw the trailer, if I hadn't done the VIP demo weekends or anything, I still, still would have, still would buy the game just from that trailer alone. So it's definitely something that I'm really looking forward to. Okay. So now we're going to go over a couple quick things here. Uh, release date. Okay, so first thing, we're going to go over to Origin here. This is on PC. This is how you download games from EA. You have to download the Origin app. So these are my EA games. Um, you guys all know I play SWOTOR. Uh, I have Battlefront. I don't play it on the channel, but that's that's a subject for another time. I might play a story on the channel later. We'll see. Anyway, so the important news here. Anthem. Preload date. Sorry. Uh, Preload date February 13th, 2019 at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay, so February 13th, you can download the game. Can you play it February 13th? Well, we're going to find out. We're going to go over here and we're going to uh, pull up this image right here. Uh, we can ignore the first column. Uh, we are on February 9th right now, actually, so we're far past the demos, so we don't need to worry about this at all. Okay, so early access to the full game. So some people could play the full game starting on February 15th, 2019. Unfortunately, the only people that can play the full game starting on February 15th, 2019 is those with Origin Access Premier on PC. Origin Access Premier is a subscription service to Origin that allows you to play a whole bunch of games. You don't have to buy the games, you just pay the subscription to Origin Access and it grants you access to a whole bunch of different games. So. If you play a bunch of EA games or Origin games, this is a really good option for you guys. You'll be able to play the full game on February 15th. Um, if you don't have the Premier membership, if you just have the Access Basic, or if you have EA Access on your Xbox One, you can play a 10-hour trial starting on February 15th, 2019. You won't be able to play past that full 10-hour trial, though, until the full game releases on February 22nd, 2019. This is the big day. Everyone gets to play on this day. Um, that's those of us who pre-ordered the Standard Edition, like myself. I pre-ordered it on PC, and so I can't play the full game until February 22nd, 2019. Um, if you're playing on 
on PlayStation, this is actually the first time you'll be able to play the full game because PlayStation unfortunately does not get early access. I'm not sure what's up with that, but if you have a PlayStation, I'm a little bit sorry for you guys. But you're kind of in the same boat as me because I don't have Origin Access or the Premier Access, so we'll all play together on February 22nd, 2019. If you have the Legion of Dawn pre-order, you'll also be playing that on February 22nd and everyone else. So that's the release schedule, that's what you guys need to know about when you can play the game depending on what platform you're on and whether or not you have Origin Access or Origin Premier Access. So hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit, answered some questions. Uh, now the exciting news, we got a gameplay calendar. They're already planning two DLCs, so we're gonna, they're going to launch the game on February 22nd of 2019. Throughout March, we're going to be playing the first act, Echoes of Reality. That's the story that's coming out with the base game. Now that's going to include story, that's going to include several strongholds, that's going to include all the levels of difficulty. You can start out from easy, normal, hard, as well as three different levels of Grandmaster difficulty. The Grandmaster difficulty is something you can play through that's going to give you access to crafting mats, schematics, and weapons of the Masterwork tier, which are the absolute god tier weapons in this game. So something to definitely keep you guys busy there. After that, we're going to have an Act 2 and an Act 3 that's already planned. We don't know what exactly is going to happen. They have teased that there's going to be story coming out in the expansions. There's going to be uh, strongholds. There's going to be contracts. There's going to be a whole bunch of stuff coming out with the different acts. Now, the exciting news is that as far as we know so far, the expansions in this game, even though it's an EA game, and I'm not going to jump on the EA hate bandwagon, or I'm, going to, I'm not going to defend them. I try to stay neutral. I get involved in all that. But... The expansions in this game, something very rare for EA, they're going to be free. I think Bioware had a hand in that. I'm a huge Bioware fan. A little bit biased almost towards Bioware. So, These two expansions that we don't know much about yet, we do know they're going to be free. We also know the only th items, speaking of free, uh, the only items in the cash shop that you're going to have to pay for is going to be cosmetics and anything that you can buy in-game. I'm just going to play some game footage from one of my other, from the public demo in the background here while we go over this. Uh, anything that you pay for in the cash shop, you're going to be able to pay for in-game with in-game currency, and it's only going to be cosmetics. So, definitely good news there. It's not going to be, they can't accuse anyone, uh, or sorry, no one can accuse them of making a pay-to-win game. Microtransactions are a thing that happens now, it's an unfortunate reality, but I'm okay with microtransactions if they're cosmetic and cosmetic only, as well as if they can be earned through in-game means as well. I don't like microtransactions that can't be gotten through in-game means. So that's something that they did right here. We can get them all through in-game means. Moving on from that. Story-wise, I'm absolutely psyched. Uh, Bioware... If you guys know Bioware, Star Wars The Old Republic, um, Knights of the Old Republic years before that, the Mass Effect series, Bioware is known for creating amazing stories that grip you in ways that no other video game story can grip you. They make you actually care, excuse me, they actually make you care about the characters, care about the story, and you actually feel like you're living the game's story. And this is a Bioware game. I can't imagine it's going to be any different, so I'm absolutely psyched for that. That's why I'm going to be doing the story playthrough for you guys. Gameplay-wise, there's going to be a ton of different options. You can do the missions, you can, you can do the story, you can do strongholds with groups, you can group for the entire story, you can do it private and solo play. Um, there's going to be different difficulty levels that we talked about already that's going to grant you access to some of the most rare items in the game. And... There's just going to be so much to do, especially with expansions already planned to be coming out. People, I've seen people wondering and worrying that the game's not going to have much to do and that it's going to lose play, lose play value very quickly after launch. I strongly disagree with that. I think this game is going to impress us in a way that no game has in a long time. I'm super hyped for it, and I think that there's going to be enough new stuff coming out, and I think that Bioware is going to work with the community and keep this game exciting and playable for years to come. So, moving on from that, uh, just a really quick thing I want to show you guys here. 
you guys want to watch the story gameplay series on my channel definitely stay tuned to that this is my channel right here you guys once you subscribe um, if you ever come to my page starting on February 22nd scroll down the playlist list to Swotor Nerd Plays Anthem right here um, I'm gonna have the VIP demo and the public demo videos that are up there already of course there's gonna be this video which is gonna be right here but anything after that is gonna be story videos and I'm really 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 excited to share that with you guys uh, don't forget to Subscribe to the channel and turn on the little notification bell that way you never miss an upload so you guys can be the first to see these story videos as they release so Moving on from that. I uh, just wanted to say guys. I'm so psyched for this game. The hype is real I can't believe it's coming out in about 10 days Just over 10 days and I can't wait to see you guys all there. It's gonna be a blast We're gonna have amazing times grouping together make a lot of great memories make new friends and I just have a feeling it's going to be a really great thing. So, Swell Turner Gaming out, guys. We will see you there. Fly well, freelancers.